All right, guys, it's a little after three o'clock here on Friday. Uh, I am still in Situate Harbor. I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update uh, as to what's going on. And I'm gonna be sitting here for a while, so maybe I'll give you a little bit of a boat tour as well. Uh, so quick update, uh, I'm currently here in Situate. Wind reached about uh, 25, if not 30 knots today, which was a little hectic. Um, I didn't actually end up going anywhere. I was hoping to head to Sandwich Bay, Massachusetts, um, which is the entrance right before Cape Cod Canal. So once I get there, I can head through the canal and then out onto the Atlantic Ocean, past New York, and down to hopefully warmer seas. Uh, Hurricane Fiona is currently passing Massachusetts, which is why we got these crazy wind gusts. And then the wave report was two to five feet, which isn't that bad when you actually get out there, but getting out past the harbor, you gotta go past the surf and that's where the waves are breaking. Uh, and that's where they're, they're having issues. So. Um, I'm actually going to stay here one more night, uh, which is, I guess hit or miss. I feel a little bit safer about it. Um, I'm a little disappointed though, cause it's kind of cold and I want to be warm <laughs> and I want to be in warmer waters right now, but that's all right. Uh, patience, you know, um, so hopefully I will head out tomorrow. Uh, I actually have my solar panels arrived in sandwich bay today so that's exciting i can get those kind of rigged up and then we'll kind of take it from there um and kind of run off of almost off grid kind of setup that i'm gonna kind of have going on that's the goal at least um but i figure while i'm waiting around not really doing anything i could give you guys a little bit of a boat tour i got things a little bit more cleaned up uh, than they were yesterday it also rained like crazy yesterday so i have everything kind of hanging up drying <laughs> i'm trying to stay warm it's about 55 degrees but with you know 25 foot or 25 knot winds coming through it gets a little bit chillier so i'm all bundled up uh like, to make myself cups of coffee throughout the day to kind of stay warm um, but we'll kind of start over here. So this is kind of the only area that's still a mess. I got to kind of figure this out. I was making coffee, so I got out my electric skillet. Um, this is a sink. Everything's operated by pump. So you actually just push this handle down and water will come out. Uh, it holds 22 gallons of fresh water in my boat, which is pretty cool. Uh, that'll give me about a month off the shore, uh, if I'm kind of conservative with it. But I mean, that's a little less than a gallon a day, which I don't know very many people coming from Colorado that drink a gallon a day, and it's pretty dry up there. So with it being a little bit warmer, I don't think I'll have any issues um, kind of keeping that topped off and whatnot. Uh, I actually, I also have, this is an alcohol stove that came with it. Um, so I'm, I stayed, I'm gonna stay with the electric cause I can run that off my solar power and I don't have to worry about alcohol or gas. Um, underneath here is actually my engine. Um, so you can kind of see that which is cool because if something does go wrong with it, I can actually, you know, work on it from inside. I'm not out in the elements getting rained on and whatnot. Um, if that's the case, you know. Um, this leads out into the control deck. So this kind of opens up and this is your cockpit up here. Uh, so that's where you steal the boat, there's your tiller and whatnot. I gotta kind of get that a little bit more set up. Uh, that's my 120 volt power that's coming in now attached the dock on. So that's kind of keeping everything charged till I get my solar panels, which is nice. Uh, this is my navigation system. So that'll run GPS and stuff. I have it, it's set up to run off the battery right now, which isn't great because the only way to charge that is to run the engine um, until I get my solar panels. Once I get my solar panels, I'll run off of those, which will be kind of fun um, and kind of get away from the phone because I've been using my phone mostly for navigation, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so this is kind of how everything sits, right? It just kind of goes straight back. Um, 28 foot boat, uh, there's definitely not 28 feet in here though. Um, and standing, like there's enough for standing room. So I'm, I'm wearing a hat so there's a little ball on the top, but I can stand easily fine here. And then if I walk into here, I'm, I'm a little under six foot. And I can stand perfectly fine here, which is nice. Um, underneath all of this stuff is storage and there's like storage in here um, and then like all of that stuff opens up for storage and then like this stuff opens up for storage gotta have Ziploc bags you know um, and then you can lift these up and there's like storage underneath there um, these right here this is my bulge so they'll 
like collect any rainwater or anything that's coming off the deck or any salt water that's off the deck. And then there's a little pump that's in here that'll get rid of it. This white thing that you can kind of see right there is my, it's a little flotation device. So when that gets, um, or it's just a float. So when that does fill up with water, it'll automatically kick on and start, you know, kind of pumping it out the back, which is cool. Uh, I don't have to do anything. And that's all kind of controlled from up here. So if I do have an issue with it, blow a fuse or something, I have access to it. Actually, I had to replace that. So that's one of the things I did when I got to the stock, which was kind of nice. But we'll kind of keep making our way back. There's also, you know, storage underneath this, obviously. And you can actually sleep on this. You know, that goes back to your foot feet there. I just have stuff because it's just me. Um, if you go a little bit further back, this is the bathroom. And I apologize about that rattling. This is the mass, and that's my halyard smacking the instant because the wind's just whipping past. Uh, I, I have my AirPods in, hopefully kind of driving it out a little bit, but I'm sure you can still hear it because I can still hear it. Uh, so there's storage in there, toiletries and stuff, and then everything's activated by a pump. So you just kind of pump that, and that's fresh water that comes out right there, which is pretty cool. Uh, but you can flip over onto this side and this opens up. So this is your bathroom mirror right there. Uh, there's more like storage up here. That's where I keep like my fishing stuff. So when I'm out in the ocean, I can catch fish and eat that instead of having to stock up on food. Obviously I still have food on board. Um, that's your head or your toilet operated by hand pump. Do your business, add some water in there and then kind of pump it down. That actually goes into a septic tank and then I can pump the septic tank out when I'm making a passage in the middle of the ocean, you know, so I'm not, stinking up any harbor or anything like that um uh, and then going to here there's you know more storage down underneath there this actually opens up into uh even more storage and a couple of pipes and stuff like that um uh, and then this is the v-berth so you can actually lift this up if you wanted to keep uh you know stuff in here um but i choose to sleep in here because it's just me and uh, like i said i'm a little under six feet so i can fully extend all the way out onto there which is super nice um and then obviously that opens this opens up so there's storage um and you can kind of see that's actually your anchor so that goes straight outside you're supposed to put your head in there so like i'd crawl in how i am now uh, and then like you know just kind of snuggle my way back there but I, I don't like doing that because it's really cold back there and uh, most of your heat escapes from your head so actually i put my feet down there um and i, I kind of tried to block it off to kind of keep a little bit more insulation so i'm not as cold because it's gotten down like almost to 40 degrees at night and when you're right there on the water and you got wind blowing by man it gets a little frigid around three o'clock in the morning um this right here's the little hatch which opens up into uh the deck so i can actually go up to the deck from there if i really ever needed to or if hopefully you know that doesn't happen but if i did hit something water was coming in here i could get up through there pretty easily um but yeah that's pretty much it i mean there's not you know a whole lot of space in here but it's fine because it's just me um and then i mean i got the the whole world is my backyard i can pretty much take this anywhere else i go um and that is so annoying with that clicking around and stuff uh, <laughs> but yeah nothing super crazy there's you know there's not a whole lot of space to like obviously i can't throw a football in here but you know you're not throwing a football inside your house either um as far as storage goes there's literally storage everywhere uh, it, the trickiest part of like moving on to the boat was figuring out my stuff versus the stuff that was already on the boat so like there's you know power tools underneath there and stuff that that were already here that you know i kind of want to keep with me because i might need it and there's hardware for the boat that i might need that's his but kind of sorting out what's junk and what's not junk uh has been kind of a little bit more difficult than i was anticipating um also my psych poster i don't know if you saw it, my psych poster got leaked, which was super sad i love that tv show um but yeah nothing crazy it's not i'm not living in a mansion or anything but um the freedom that comes with it is super nice um and it's it's a lot more spacious than you think i, I mean i can fully extend my arms i can stand up straight i can stretch around i can do whatever i need to uh, i just can't really jump which is <laughs> i don't know when you're jumping inside your house but um it's yeah it's nice i like it uh, it's it's comfortable it's cozy and it feels like home and it, very satisfying so uh, i thought i'd give you guys just kind of a quick tour while i'm not here doing anything uh, if you guys do want to subscribe it helps out helps me out um helps me kind of support what i'm doing right now 
and it takes two seconds to do. So shoot me a like uh, and subscribe so you can kind of keep updated and I will kind of keep posting videos along the way uh, as we make our way down to Florida. But I can't wait. I'm really excited. Uh, thank you for all the support that you guys have already given me. Um, I've gotten a lot of support from friends and family. And so that's been super cool. I really do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see where this goes. I, there's a little sneak peek of, of what it's like to live on a sailboat. <laughs> I, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this and stay tuned.